Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share some outgoing mail. Um, I feel terrible because this swap was supposed to go out in October and it's January and I'm just now sending it out, but better late than never. Um, so this is going to a person in the UK. I've never mailed to the UK, so I'm really excited. Um, I was so happy to find this at the last minute. I really wanted to gift her this paper pad because I know that she doesn't have it available to her, but... I couldn't find it anywhere, so I was able to find it on clearance. And this is just a Pinkaboo collection from Michaels. I made a lot of the embellishments and stuff from this collection. So I'm gonna give this to her. I'm really worried about shipping costs for a 12 by 12, but we're gonna find out. So I have that for her. So a lot of this stuff, guys, I don't even remember what it is. Because it's been a while and I've just been having it, like, collecting things. But these are some gifts from her. I'll be sure to link her video in the description box below. Because when I post this, it'll be time. Um, It'll be about the time that she receives it. So you guys can see the unboxing of everything that's in here. I have this package and I really want to share it with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. I love altering these and making these. Excuse me, I'm still sick, guys. So I created this for her with the collection. It has her name. I used a couple pieces from the collection, some die cuts, and then a beautiful sequin mix. So I really, I really been enjoying using these for Happy Meal. And then I just went ahead and wrapped it back up in this and tied it with this beautiful ribbon that Denise gifted me. I think it's from Denise. All right, I hate to do this stuff on camera with you guys, but you guys know I always gotta show you the real of how I do things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie that up. I'm so sorry for any noise. I'm recording in my living room. My kids are around, so you might hear some stuff. All right. So another thing is I have no idea how I'm going to fit all the stuff in here. So you're going to see me move things around a lot. What else? So I have this for her. It's a little glass thing. So I have to be careful how I package this. I'm going to set some stuff under and around it. Let's go through some of the embellishments. These are a lot of felt um, cutouts. And I just put them in one of these bags and I made a cute little topper. So that's one. Okay, let's leave this to the side. Here's some other shaker embellishments that I created. Some little mason jars made out of vellum. And then also some shaker rosette. So this came out really beautiful. I'm so proud of the stuff I made. I made some really cute things. I wish I could have made more. Here are some bows. Bat bowls. So I use these are I have a tutorial on these. I'm gonna to try to link it in the description box below of how I created these. I sent her some of those. Some twine. Um and I think that's it for the traditional color stuff. I'm also gonna be gifting her some of these cupcake liner rosettes that I love to make. Here's some um, past, you know, with that collection, the bat bowls. And I use little black pom-poms in there. Really happy with the way a lot of the stuff came out. Some little envelopes with the collection. I have a tutorial on these, and I just made a quick little topper. Got kind of banged up. But there's that. Some handmade rosettes, and I use some... Um, these are from Valentine's Day last year at Target. And I've really been enjoying packaging up some rosettes and then putting stickers to say rosettes. Just to give you guys some ideas, I have a tutorial on these. I love the way these turned out. And I threw in some sequins. And it came out really beautiful. Excuse the sirens, you know we're in Chicago. <laughs> Um, I have these banners. I have a tutorial on these as well. And I love the way these came out. 
So I'm gifting her some of these. These rosettes that I made. Here's the topper. I love the way these came out as well. These are those cupcake rosettes that I love to make. And I just embellished them. So this is kind of where I'm struggling on how to fit all the stuff. Here's a little shaker tag that I created. Really cute. All right, so I guess I will put this here. And then I have some gifts here. And I just decorated by using these holographic bags that I found at Walmart. These little back clips from Dollar Tree and then a piece of ephemera. And there's just some goodies in here. I don't want to open it, guys. You'll just have to watch her unboxing so that you can see everything. But this is just a really cute, simple way. I love to um, package stuff like this so that the recipient can reuse it. So this is kind of where I'm struggling on how to you know, put everything together. Another one. I love these bags. And there's just tons of stuff in here, guys. I really don't want to go through it. But tons of stuff. Since she doesn't have a lot of the stores that we have available in the U.S., I wanted to really hook her up. So I hope that she's not too upset with me about sending it too, too late. I think that I totally made it up with this package. I want to send her some more stuff, but unfortunately, it's not going to fit. Here's another. I made this bat bow. I have a tutorial on this as well. I'm just going to go ahead and link the, um, the playlist. It's a Halloween playlist. And I just glued this to this. We have some ephemera, a little bit of tool. And then there's some goods in here. I'm not going to open it. Alright. Um, this package right here. I made her a little sequin box. And so she don't have she doesn't have to like, you know, flip each one. I glued a sequin on each one so she can see what's in it. So it's just like a little Halloween sequin box. Okay. What else? I gifted her some of that tool and some um, ribbon. And I love the way this came out. This is one of the little b banner things from Target. And I just glued some tool on the back, put a felt um, cut out, and then glued some googly eyes. And I think it's so cute. So again, this is kind of where I'm struggling on how to put all the stuff in here. Because I still have more stuff to go. Here's another package. I don't remember what this is, unfortunately. Put that there. And some even more, some more packages. Um, I believe these are some straws that I gifted her. So yeah, this is my struggle right now. It's jam-packed. And then I have some other little knickknacks that I wanted to throw in there. A pen from Dollar Tree. Some of these skull things. These adorable little bat. Came from a bat banner. So I'm going to put those in there. So this thing is jam-packed. And I just have to like force it closed. Some lollipops. This has like a bunch of knickknacks. It's just a little cauldron that I purchased at Target. I wrapped it. I tied it with some holo some of that holographic, um, what do you call that? Eyelash trim and some of that ribbon. And I don't think this one's going to fit. All right, I got it in there. So normally I would do some pretty stuff over here, but it's jam-packed, guys. I also wanted to gift her this. But it's not fitting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pour it all over. Let 
That way it won't take up any room. I really love it when people like decorate the sides, but I honestly think it's a waste of time because they're just gonna throw the box out. You know what I mean? So I try not to decorate the sides. But that's it for this, guys. Um, I wanted to gift her this, but it's so heavy and there's really, I don't know, maybe I'll just throw it in there. I'm just gonna throw it in there for her. But that's it, guys. I'm gonna try to get this closed. It is jam packed. I'm so, so nervous on what the price is going to be of shipping. But I just got to do what I have to do and pay the cost. Because I should have not been this late. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.